So my name is uh, Mohsen Mir Khalaf, and I'm a postdoc researcher working on a collaborative project between the University of Gothenburg and Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden. So within this project, uh, we are aiming to develop some uh, short fiber biocomposite materials, and we are going to develop actually some uh, applications for equestrian sports from these materials. Besides, we are also developing some computational tools in order to be able to predict the mechanical behavior of these materials. And these computational tools will hopefully be used also uh, to tailor new materials with the desired performance uh, at, the, at the macro level. When you are going to do micromechanical modeling, especially when you are going to do computational homogenization and doing realistic RVs, the main challenge is how to generate these representative volume elements. In terms of commercial tools available in the market, uh, there are not many at least. So this is the biggest challenge if someone wants to do uh, micromechanical modeling, to generate some representative volume elements which actually mimic the microstructure of the material, you need to have some powerful tools. So this is, at least for me, was the most important challenge. We used Digimat software. Uh, we wanted to use micromechanical modeling of short fiber composites. So we used two modules of this software, Digimat FE and Digimat MF. Uh, for predicting the mechanical behavior of short fiber composites. When we started this uh, project, we wanted to do modeling. So I talked to, to my collaborators and advisors at Chalmers, and they had people collaborations uh, with people at eXtreme. So we started this discussion that we are going to use this software, and they were so welcoming, so we started using it. The most important feature of Digimat software that we use is to be able to generate different uh, realistic representative volume elements. And uh, for us, like so far, we have used it for one specific composite, which is short fiber composites. But we know that this software is capable to generate different kind of uh, RVs for different kind of composite materials. So I think this is the most important and interesting uh, feature of the MSC product. These days, it's impossible not to use engineering simulations. So simulations help you to, to avoid those uh, expensive and time-consuming thing, so there is no way to go around it, I would say. One of the main ideas of having simulation tools is, in addition, of course, to predicting the mechanical behavior of the materials, is to be able to, to design, to design materials and design products. The final goal for us is to have some tools where we can use it to, to develop some new materials. Because if you have some tools and then you can virtually generate materials, you can reach the mechanical performance that you need from virtual material development. It gives you the chance to develop those materials in reality. So for us, that's the final goal.